Hey friends, uh, just a bit of a life update on what's been going on in the past the past week or so. Sorry, there's a fluff. That's probably one of Lady's hairs. I just took Lady to get her hair cut, which you can see here. She's very nervous, but I gave her some calming treats before we got into the car, so hopefully it wasn't too anxiety inducing for her. She's not a very big fan of car rides. She's also 16 years old, so anything outside of her normal routine makes her pretty anxious. Everyone, what you look like right now? All right, that's before the haircut. She's a little nervous, but she's gonna be okay. Now I'm just waiting for her to be done. I also packed away my PlayStation this week because honestly, I was playing too many video games. Um, I'm doing online school right now, so that means that my desk is five feet away from where my PlayStation is. I was playing too many video games and staying up too late doing that, so it was affecting my sleep, and it was ultimately affecting my school and my grades because I wasn't dedicating enough time to study when I should have been. I have an issue with doing things in moderation, especially when the temptation is there, so I had to just cut it out completely. I unplugged it, put it back in the box, and just put it aside. It's still a bit tempting uh, sometimes when I get stressed out and I just want to relax to be able to play. Unfortunately, until I can do it in moderation, this is the solution. And if any of you are wondering what games I play, I am a huge Battlefield fan. That is my number one. I also recently found out that the medication I've been on for the last six or seven years, um, I'm only supposed to be on for three months at the most. So that was a bit of a shock and I'm going to do another video in depth about that. We are not supposed to know a lot about the medication, that's what the doctors and the professionals are for, but sometimes in life it requires us to have the initiative to go to the doctor on a regular basis to make sure that they are aware of the situation. I have clearly been on one of these medications for far too long, so I'm waiting to see a psychiatrist about that. And the last thing is I am getting my wisdom teeth out. That will be happening this Friday, which it's Monday right now, so it's coming up pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous about uh, being put under and the whole process, because I'm not comfortable with it, obviously. I'm not used to it, but I have been through surgery once before, so this won't be the first time that I've been put under. Obviously, I have to have a family member with me to drive me there and drive me back because I will not be able to drive back. So I've got someone there to support me. It should be all good. I'm uncomfortable with it. I'm nervous about it, but I'm not shaking in my boots type thing for it. It's it's one of those things that I'm I'm very nervous for, but I know I can get through it even if I have a pan like I might have a panic attack. I might be very anxious on that day, but I know that I can get through it. And it's a feeling that I wish I had towards a lot more things. Um, believe it or not, I'd be a lot more anxious about getting on the GO train and going to downtown Toronto than I am about this operation. That may make absolutely no sense to you. It Honestly, it makes no sense to me either, but that's anxiety for you. It doesn't make sense all the time. It doesn't always have logic taken into account. Sometimes it just is the way it is. I will have a post-operation update for you guys and let you know how it went and if I had a panic attack and how I felt afterwards and hopefully maybe the person coming with me will get some footage of me after the surgery when I'm all loopy. That's really it. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm about to go pick up Lady now. Hopefully she isn't too anxious. She doesn't like car rides a whole lot, but I'm gonna roll the windows down, let her sniff some of the fresh air, take her home and give her some nice belly rubs. Hope you had a great week and I'll see you in the next one.